Logiforms has seamless integration with Adobe EchoSign, the most trusted name in PDF document signing. This tutorial describes how to generate a PDF document with Logiforms and then send it via email or fax for signature to one or more parties. If you'd rather show the PDF for signing immediately after the form is filled out and submitted, see our video demo on using the signing widget in embedded mode. Note, however, that embedded signing provides less assurance of the signer's identification than when sending via email. For sensitive agreements, we recommend using this method described in the video for getting your document signed. Let's walk through the process of getting a document signed via email. Starting from the dashboard, open your form in the Form Designer. For integration with EchoSign, there has to be a PDF document that's generated for the form. You can use an existing PDF form or use the dynamic PDF form designer to create your own PDF. In this example, our form already has a PDF being generated, so all we need to do is add the EchoSign text tags that identify where the signer will be expected to sign and initial the document. In the form designer, click Post Processing, then PDF Generation. Double click the profile to edit it. Click Next three times to advance to the document body screen. Because we want to add text tags to the main body of the PDF, select Edit Document Body. We're now editing our dynamic PDF. If you were using a PDF form, you would need to add form fields to the PDF and label them using the same text tag names and then re-upload your PDF. More information on that process can be found in our user guide. When the PDF is sent to EchoSign, the text tags will tell EchoSign where to place signature and in initial fields. Our user guide contains more detailed information about using text tags. In this example, we want to get this lease agreement signed by the resident and then get the sender, us in this example, to sign it. We also want each page initialed by the signer as well as two separate fields. Let's scroll down and start adding our text tags. At the first page break, insert the text tag to get the page initialed. Repeat this process for each page break. Because the document calls for these fields to get initialed, we'll add text tags next to each. At the bottom of the document, we'll insert the signature text tag, as well as the tag for the date signed. Likewise, we'll get the sender signature text tag added, as well as the date signed tag. Click Save to save the PDF and Finish to close out the wizard. Once we've added the necessary text tags to our PDF document, we can then set up the electronic signature profile. Back in the form designer, select Post Processing, then Electronic Signatures. Click Add Profile to create the electronic signature profile. In the wizard, give the profile a name. The Manually Triggered Only option works in conjunction with the trigger to only use this profile when triggered directly. This can be used to send a document for signature via Respondent Update mode or via a custom workflow process. We'll leave this unchecked for this example. Next, select the sender for this electronic signature. Click Next and leave Email Delivery selected. On the next screen, select the PDF we want to get signed and enter a name for the agreement that will be shown to the signer. You can optionally set up an automated reminder and a document expiration time. Click Next to advance to the recipient screen. Click Add Recipient to add a recipient and you're able to have up to 25 signers per document. You can also elect to fax the document to the recipient. They'll receive a fax which can be manually signed and sent back to the fax number provided. These signed documents are then translated to a digital document and processing continues as normal. For this example, select the email address from the form that belongs to the person whose signature we want to collect. Click Save and Next to Advance. Next, choose if you, the sender, should sign the document and where in the process this should happen. We'll configure this so that the sender signs last. The Signature Type option provides an option to request a written signature instead of an electronic signature. Leave this on eSign as we'll accept an electronic signature for our example. You can also elect to protect the document using a simple password, a web identity check, or via KBA authentication. For more information on these options, please consult our user guide. Click Finish when you're done. Now let's open up our form and submit it. Once the form has been submitted, the signer will receive an email asking them to sign the document. We'll open our webmail account and take a look at that email. 
This is what the end user will see, and opening their new mail, they can click the link to sign the document. The user is guided through the process of initialing and signing the document. Once you initial the form once, you can quickly add initials to the rest of the document. When it comes to the signature, they can type their name or use the mouse to sign the document. Once they complete the signing process, the agreement will be emailed to the sender for signing. Before we check that email account, however, let's take a look at what now shows in the LogiForms database. Returning to LogiForms, click Database in the Form Designer. Notice a number of fields have been added to the data that describe the signing process. As you can see, this document is out for signature, and the last event was sent out for signature. Click the PDF link to view the current PDF document, and you can scroll down to see the initials and signature that are on the document. The document is certified by Adobe, as indicated by the blue border and security certificate. Now let's close the PDF and check our sender email account for our turn to sign. In our inbox, we now have an email from Adobe EchoSign asking us to sign the completed lease agreement. Click the link to sign the document. With our signature added, the signing process is now complete. Each party will receive, via email, the final executed lease agreement. Returning to LogiForms and pressing refresh in the database browser, we now see the updated status of the document. By double-clicking on the record and scrolling down to the electronic signature fields, we can also view a complete audit log by clicking the audit log link. This concludes our overview of how to get a document electronically signed via email.